we started this conference with the master class what is master class the master class is a full explanations of what delegates do in the conference from discuss, uh, discussing the main theme of how to make position paper working paper and draft resolutions as you are already do it in the uh, march 30 and then quite difference between the last year as this is this year give the delegates full of diplomat experience this year as this race the theme life after covid 19 with the sub theme enhancing health security in building resilient health system for the world the preamble of 1946 who constitution said happiness harmonious relations and security of all people the who constitution said that health of all people is fundamental to achieve peace and security WHO 2005. The 2005 UNDP report has identified a seven category of threats uh, to human security, economy, food security, health, environment, community, and politics. The report of making the process of identifying health problems that intercept human safety. Since the publications of report, there have been discussions and updated on the scores on the health safety. Following this, the WHO update an existing international legal instrument to mitigate the problem of health security, known as the International Health Regulations, had hit, has hit Europe. It created rights and obligations for states, including the requirement to report, report public health incidents. The regulations also outline criteria for determining whether a particular event is an emergency problem that needs to be addressed collectively and also internationally. The COVID-19 pandemic is the currently happening is, a, is an example how biological threat in the form of a virus impacts the stabilities of the country globally. This virus or disease is unpredictable and has significant consequences to individual and also society. Its endeavors in individual health and life threaten to society economic stability and increase tensions and divisions in politics here. In the, uh, in the procedure that implemented in impediment epidemic when it comes to surface, they are practiced such as respond and control, social distancing, and various methodology. The prevention in pandemic is very dependent on the affability of health system access to the people. Health system is a component of the organization, institutions, and research to provide healthcare service to meet people's health needs. It is formed by means health insurance or policy it is the core of the mitigation and prevention process. In this conference, we aim to conceptualize the overhancing discourse, trends, developments, paradigmatic, safe challenge, and in international health security. We would like to address the problem in public health, the politics, and international relations involved the resistance, advocacy, and activism to the, public, to the public to achieve the health care they deserve. What perspective for the future can we drive? With, the, with this background, I hope the delegates can be understand what people of the world are feeling today. And proudly introduce our committee this year, WHO or World Health Organizations. And now I'm going to introduce to all the delegates our chairperson today who is going to lead this conference. Please welcome Mr. Raflianshya. He is a student at University University General Ahmad Yati, Ahmad Yani or Unjani, and Mr. Randy Utomo. He is a student at President University. At the end, committee will choose some of the best delegate, best position paper, outstanding delegate, and honorable mentions. So do your best for this today, and probably you want to hear this. And the grand prize of this year, SDC, will proudly presenting National University International Relations to Far East Model United Nations in Vladivostok, Russia, this May. So you guys better be good. And now let's continue to the general absent. So this one is the formal absent. So I need you to control yourself and also a remind that everyone here are present and voting. So I want you uh, uh, to relax and we are going to have a general absent.
So we're going to do a general absent today. Please mention, uh, I'm going to mention delegates countries and please re replay it with present and voting. So uh, when I say the country, please turn on your microphone and say present and voting. Can we start? Wait a second. I'm going to do that again. All right, we're going to start. Kingdom of Norway. Thank you, Chair. Delegates of Kingdom of Norway is present and voting. Thank you, Kingdom of Norway. Next one is Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. Next one, the Negara Brunei Darussalam. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Negara, Brunei Negara Brunei Darussalam is present and voting. Thank you. Next one is Kingdom of Morocco. Thank you, Chair. Delegates Kingdom of Morocco is present and voting. Thank you very much. Next one is Hungary. Thank you, Chair. Delegates of Hungary present and voting. Thank you very much. Next one is New Zealand. Thank you, Chair. Delegates of New Zealand is present and voting. Thank you very much. Next one, Delegations Republic of Iraq. Thank you, Chair. Delegate of Republic of Iraq is present and voting. Thank you. The next one is Delegation Federal Democratic Republic of Nepal. Thank you, Chair. Federation Democratic Republic of Nepal is present and voting. Thank you very much. The next delegate will be Republic of Poland. Thank you, Chair. Republic of Poland is present and voting. Thank you so much. The next one is Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Thank you, Chair. Delegates from Islamic Republic of Pakistan, present and voting. Thank you so much. The next one is Delegations Republic of Mauritius. Thank you, Chair. Delegate of Mauritius is present and voting. Thank you very much. The next one is Delegations of United Emirates Arab. Thank you, Chair. We are delegate from the United Emirates Arab is present in voting. Thank you so much. The next delegate will be United States of America. Thank you, Chair. Uh, delegate of United States of America voting and the president. United States of America. Thank you, Chair. Delegate of United States of America, present and voting. Thank you. The next one is Delegate State of Israel. Thank you, Chair. Delegate State of Israel is present and voting. Thank you so much. The next one is will be Kingdom of Belgium. Thank you, Chair. Delegate Kingdom of Belgium is present and voting. Thank you so much. The next delegations, United Kingdom and the Great Britain and the Northern Ireland. Thank you, Honorable Chair. United Kingdom is present and voting. Thank you so much. The next one is with, it will be the Republic of Portugal. Thank you, Thank Chair. You, Chair. The delegates, the Republic of Portugal is Present and voting. Thank you so much. The next one will be Delegates Republic of the Philippines. Uh, 
Thank you, Chairs. Its delegates from the Republic of the Philippines is present and voting. Thank you so much. The next delegate will be People Republic of China. Thank you, Chair. Republic of China is present and voting. Thank you so much. The next one will be Delegate Russians Federation. Russians Federation. All right. The next one, Democratic Republic of Timor Leste. Timor Leste. Thank you, Chair. The delegates of Democratic Republic of Timor Leste is present and voting. Delegations of Kingdom of Thailand. Thank you. Delegate of Kingdom of Thailand is present and voting. The next one, Delegations Oriental Republic of Uruguay. Thank you, Delegate of Oriental Republic of Uruguay, present and voting. Thank you. The next one, Delegations Republic of Singapore. Thank you, Delegate of Republic of Singapore is present and voting. You, the next delegate will be Swiss Federation. Thank you, Chair. Delegates of Swiss Federation is present and voting. Thank you. The next one will be Delegates Republic of the Union of Myanmar. Thank you, Chair. Delegate of Republic of the Union of Myanmar is present and voting. The next one, Delegate of Lao People Democratic Republic. Thank you, Chair. The delegates of Lao People Democratic Republic is present and voting. Thank you. The next delegate will be People Democratic Republic of Algeria. Algeria. All right, quick continue. The next delegate will be Bolivian Republic of Venezuela. We don't have Venezuela. The next one, we have delegates of Canada. Thank you, Chair. Delegates of Canada is present and voting. Delegates of Canada. Uh, thank you, Chair. Delegates of Canada is present and voting. The next one is Republic of Argentina. Thank you, Chair. Delegates of the Republic of Argentina is present and voting. Thank you, Chair. Delegate of People's Republic of Bangladesh is present and voting. Thank you so much, Bangladesh. Next delegate, Republic of Indonesia. Thank you, Chair. Republic of Indonesia is present and voting. Thank you, Indonesia. The next delegations will be Jamaica. Thank you, Chair. Delegates of Jamaica is present and voting. 
Thank you, Jamaica. The next delegate will be Republic of Zimbabwe. Thank you, Chair. Delegates of Republic of Zimbabwe is present and falling. Thank you, Republic of Zimbabwe. The next delegate, Republic of Angola. Thank you, Chair. Delegate of Republic of Angola is present and voting. Thank you, Republic of Angola. The next delegations will be Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you, Chair. Uh, the, the delegate of Federal Republic of Nigeria is present and voting. Thank you, Republic of Hasbidic Kingdom of Jordan. Thank you, Chair. Delegate Kingdom of Jordan is present and voting. Thank you, Kingdom of Jordan. The next delegates will be Republic of Italy. Thank you, Chair. The delegate of Republic of Italy is present and voting. Thank you, Republic of Italy. The next delegate will be Kingdom of Spain. Thank you, Chair. Delegates of Spain is present and voting. Thank you, Kingdom of Snack. Next delegate will be Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. Thank you, sir. Delegate Islamic Republic of Afghanistan is present and voting. Thank you, Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. Next delegate will be Kingdom of Cambodia. Thank you, Chair. The, the, the delegate of Kingdom of Cambodia is present and voting. Thank you, Chair. The delegate of Kingdom of Cambodia is present and voting. Thank you, Kingdom of Cambodia. Next delegation, Republic of Chile. Thank you, Chair. The Dutch Republic of Chile is present and voting. Thank you, Republic of Chile. The next
Can you hear my voice? Okay, sorry for the lost connections. The next one is Delegations Islamic Republic of Iran. Thank you, Chair. The Delegate of uh, Islamic Republic of Iran is present in voting. Thank you, Islamic Republic of Iran. The next delegation is Hellenic Republic of Greece. Thank you, Chair. Delegate of Hellenic Republic, present and voting. Thank you, Hellenic Republic of Greece. The next one, Delegates Republic of Korea. Thank you, Honorable Chair. The Delegates of Republic of Korea is present and voting. Thank you, Republic of Korea. The next delegations will be Republic of Chad. Thank you, Chair. Delegate of Republic of Chad is present and voting. Thank you, Republic of Chad. The next delegate will be Republic of Rwanda. Republic of Rwanda. The next delegate will be Republic of the Niger. Thank you, Chair. Republic of Niger is present. Thank you, Republic of the Niger. The next delegate will be Republic of Cuba. Thank you, Chair. Republic of Cuba is present and voting. Thank you, Republic of Cuba. The next delegations will be Republic of Panama. Thank, thank you, Chair. Delegates of Panama is present and happy. Thank you, Republic of Panama. Next delegations will be Republic of Tunisia. Thank you, Chair. The Republic of Tunisia is present and happy. Thank you, Republic of Tunisia. The next delegate will be Republic of Turkey. Republic of Turkey. The next. Delegate will be Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you, Chair. Delegate of, uh, of Republic of Trinidad and Tobago is present and voting. Thank you, Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Can state. The United Mexican State. The next delegate will be Independent State of Papua New Guinea. Independent State of Papua New Guinea. The next delegate will be Republic of South Africa. Thank you, Chair. Delegate of the Republic of South Africa is present and voting. Thank you, Republic of South Africa. The next delegate will be Japan. Thank you, Chair. Delegate of Japan is present and voting. Thank you, delegates of Japan. The next delegate will be Solomon Island. Solomon Island. The next delegate will be the Federative Republic of Brazil. Thank you, Chair. Delegate of the, Refer the Federative Republic of Brazil is present and voting. Thank you, Federative Republic of Brazil. The next delegate will be Federal Republic of Germany. Thank you, Chair. Federal Republic of Germany is voting and present. Thank you, Federal Republic of Germany. The next delegate will be Socialist Republic of Vietnam. 
Thank you, Chair. The Delegate of Socialist Republic of Vietnam is present and voting. Thank you, Vietnam. The next delegate will be Turkmenistan. Thank you, Chair. The delegate of Turkmenistan is present and voting. Thank you, Turkmenistan. The next delegate will be Kingdom of Denmark. Thank you, Chair. The delegate of Kingdom of Denmark present and voting. Thank you, Kingdom of Denmark. The next delegate will be Republic of Uzbekistan. Thank you, Chair. Uzbekistan is present and voting. Thank you, Uzbekistan. The next delegate will be Republic of Vanuatu. Thank you, Chair. Uh, delegates of Vanuatu present and voting. Thank you, Republic of Vanuatu. The next delegate will be Republic of Australia. Thank you, Chair. The Republic of Delegates of Austria is present and voting. Thank you, Republic of Austria. The next delegate will be Kingdom of Sweden. Thank you, Chair. The delegate of Kingdom of Sweden is present and voting. Thank you, Kingdom of Sweden. The next delegate will be Republic of Haiti. Thank you, Chair. Delegate Republic of IT is prison and voting. Thank you, Republic of Haiti. The next delegate will be Republic of Serbia. Republic of Serbia. The next delegations will be Republic of Ecuador. The next delegations will be Republic of Madagascar. Thank you, Chair. Republic of Madagascar. President and Next, thank you, Republic of Madagascar. The next delegate will be Republic of Lebanon. Thank you, sir. A delegate of Republic of Lebanon is pressure and voting. Thank you, Republic of Lebanon. The next delegate will be Kingdom of the Netherlands. Thank you, and in advance, Chair, delegate of Kingdom of Netherlands is present and voting. Thank you, Kingdom of the Netherlands. The next delegations will be Republic of Armenia. Thank you, Chair. The delegates of Republic of Armenia is present and voting. Thank you, Republic of Armenia. Next delegate will be Republic of Kenya. Thank you, Chair. Delegate Republic of Kenya, question and voting. Thank you, Republic of Kenya. The next delegate will be Republic of Colombia. Republic of Colombia. Thank you, Chair. Delegate of Colombia is present and voting. Thank you, Republic of Colombia. Next one, delegations of Ukraine. Thank you, Chair. Delegate of Ukraine is present and voting. Thank you, delegations of Ukraine. The next one will be Delegations Republic of Croatia. Thank you, Chair. The Delegate of Republic of Croatia is present and voting. Thank, Thank you, you Republic of Croatia. The next delegations will be Republic of Mali. 
Thank you, Chair. We are delegate from Mali is present and foreign. Thank you, Republic of Mali. The next delegation is from the Republic of Ghana. The next delegations will be Republic of Senegal. Thank you, Republic of Senegal is present in voting. Thank you, Republic of Senegal. The next delegations will be Republic of Bulgaria. Thank you, Chair. Republic of Bulgaria is present in voting. Thank you, Republic of Bulgaria. The next delegations will be Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Thank you, Chair. Delegate of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is present and voting. Thank you, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The next delegation is for the Republic of France. Thank you, Chair. Delegates of Republics of France is present and voting. Thank you, Republic of France. The next delegation will be the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. The next delegations will be the Democratic Republic of Congo. Thank you, sir. My present Republic of Congo in person and voting. Thank you, Republic of Congo. The next delegations will be the Republic of Yemen. Delegate of Republic of Yemen is present and voting. Thank you, Republic of Yemen. The next delegations will the Syrian Arab Republic. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Delegates of Syrian Arab Republic is present and voting. Thank you, Syrian Arab Republic. The next delegations will the Republic of Liberia. The next delegations will the Republic of Azeb. The next delegation will be Czech Republic. Czech Republic. The next delegation will be Arab Republic of Egypt. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Delegates, Arab Republic of Egypt is present and voting. Thank you, Arab Republic of Egypt. The delegations, the Commonwealth of Australia. The Commonwealth of Australia. Thank you, Chair. The delegate of the Commonwealth of Australia is present. Thank you very much. The next delegate will be the Republic of Finland. Hello, Honorable Chair. Republic of Finland is present and voting. Thank you, Finland. The last delegate will be Republic of India. Thank you, Chair. Delegates of India, it's present and voting. Thank you very much to all of the delegates for the general absence today. By this day, Jakarta, April 5, 2021, the short diplomatic course 21 has officially opened and started. Big applause to all the delegates. Good luck. And do your best. Stay safe. And healthy. Best of luck. Secretary and Vice Secretary General, Gabriela Kisha and James Barron. And now I will lead to all of the chairs. The stage is sure. Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Secretary General, for uh, the explanation. 
And now, uh, morning delegates, for all of you, uh, you may prepare yourself. We will start the session. First of all, um, do we need an introduction or not? I guess we'll, we already get introduced. Let's just go straight up to the debate. OK, uh, under the chair discretion, uh, uh, we would like to open the debate. And now we are going to invite uh, delegates to speak in the general speaker list. To reporter, may you uh, change to yes, general speaker list. OK, now uh, we would like to invite 20 countries to speak on the general speaker list. So for those of you who wish to be added to the general speaker list, please raise your hand now with the feature raise hand in the uh, participant. Now, uh, New Zealand, uh, you may write it, New Zealand, Republic of India, Negara Brunei Darussalam, uh, Federation Democratic Republic of uh, Nepal or Nepal, uh, Republic of Turkmenistan or Turkmenistan, uh, Republic of, wait a minute, for those of you who already been right to the list, please lower your hand, okay? Um, Canada, Republic of Korea, okay, Hellenic Republic of Greece, or Greece, and then Republic of Mauritius, and then we like to invite them. Um, uh, Germany, have Germany has been put. Germany, yes. Okay, we already have 10. We still have 20, 10 places, delegate. Uh, okay, are there any other delegates who wish to be added? Okay, well, um, Chair Andy, should we use uh, under the chair discretion for this one or not? Choosing the delegates. Yeah, yeah, I think we can just uh, pick the delegate. Okay, so to fill the general speaker list, we will uh, uh, call every countries that we would like to invite. We would like to invite um, delegate of Kingdom of Denmark. Kingdom of Thailand or Thailand. Um, we would like to invite Ethiopia. I think and Argentina the, and Indonesia are raising their hands. Okay, Argentina, Argentine, and what chair? Indonesia. Indonesia. Okay, we still have five slots. Are there are those of you who wish to be added? You may raise your hand. Okay, uh, we'll just uh, call it uh, in every delegates. Okay, um, Philippines, and then State of Israel, Australia. Uh, Kingdom of Netherlands. And the last one we would like to invite. Uh, yeah, raising their hand. Who's raising their hand? Vietnam. Vietnam. Okay, then. And the last one will be Vietnam. Okay, for, those, uh, for every speaker, you will have uh, one minute, 30 second time to speak. For the reporter, uh, you can you add the timer as well? Okay, we will wait. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, we already have timer. So each delegate will have uh, one minute, 30 seconds to speak. So we will start from the first speaker, which is the delegate of New Zealand. To the delegate of New Zealand, you may have the floor. Okay. Um, okay. Um, thank you, Honorable Chair and fellow delegates. Good morning, everyone. Kia ora. Um, as we're probably aware, since 2019, these conditions of coronavirus are being a serious issue for us. Not only New Zealand, but other nations also get the impact from this disease in all sectors of life. Because the first outbreak of COVID-19 is still unknown until now, that is why the topic of our conference is very intriguing to be discussed furthermore. Through this conference, we hope that we can find a way to enhance our health system in order to fight the pandemic that we are facing right now. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Due to the time uh, usage, we would like to automatically yield the time to the chair. Now we will continue to the next speaker, which is the Republic of India. To the Republic of India, you may have the floor. Thank you, chair. Um, hello, everyone. Okay. The Republic of India has been a country that has a problem in terms of health system, quality balance between the city and rural area, as well as public and private health care. This problem alone brings a lot of worries, especially due to the new pandemic problem that has met its record with a total of 12, uh, 12 million cases and 163,000 that making them as the number country with the highest number of COVID cases in Southeast Asia. When it comes to bringing up the, the discussion about the Indian health care system, it's actually a, a universal system there. That being said, there is a real big discrepancy in terms of quality and coverage of medical treatment that were given in India. Healthcare system in India has quiet and significant difference in comparison between rural and state areas which can make a vast difference in terms of service and are given to the people of India. Healthcare in rural areas often suffer from Saitian shortage and disparities between states mean the resident of the poor state. Okay, thank you, Republic of India. Your time has elapsed. Now we would like to continue to the next speaker, which is Delegate of Brunei. To the Delegate of Brunei, you may have the floor. Uh, thank you, Chair, and good morning, everyone. Uh, on 11 March 2020, WHO has announced that COVID-19 plague has been a global pandemic. For less than three months, COVID-19 has infected more than 120,000 people around 123 countries, starting from Asia, Europe, United States, and South Africa. This pandemic has impacted a lot for world economy, studies, and health. And until now, this virus has, has took over uh, 2.81 million lives, and unfortunately, it's still going. For now, every country has their own solution. One prefer doing lockdown, and the other prefer do social distancing. Either way, their problem was not only about reducing case of COVID-19, but they have to think how their country economy is still going when the pandemic goes. After the vaccine is already made, all countries are focused on how their people receive this vaccine as soon as possible. For now, over than 70 million of had life was uh, already recovered from COVID, which leads, us, uh, which leads us to something every world must think of, which is enhancing, world, enhancing health security in building resilience health system for the world. Thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Brunei. Uh, we will invite the next speaker, which is Delegate of Nepal. To the Delegate of Nepal, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chair. And good morning to all delegates. Human have evolved over thousands of years and have adapted to overcome daily life challenge and periodic pandemic. In particular, human will be has met great tried in 20th century by preventing, detecting, and responding to health issues. To overall success in health such as controlling smallpox, 
Polio and Coralia should be commenced by the ongoing fight against like HIV, threat of Ebola, malaria, tuberculosis, and other epidemics, including those those like the occasional cholera outbreak in our own backyard will help us keep us honest about our previous success. As a country advanced in social economy development, health status and issue development as a result of changing lifestyle. Demog demographic climate change and epidemiology health. For example, while infection disease are still a main cause of death in developing countries like Nepal, the parody has slowly spiked towards four major chronic diseases: herpes, disease, cancer, diabetes, and chronic. As a result of low, long CCD, the country global. Thank you, delegate. Your time has elapsed. Thank you. We will invite the next speaker, which is Delegate of Turkmenistan, if I'm not mistaken. To Delegate of Turkmenistan, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chair. Turkmenistan is one of the countries that has closed itself off from the war. Turkmen government has a tendency to hide fact and be anti criticism This becomes an obstacle for us as a country to reach out of another country. At the time, the WHO announced the status of the global coronavirus pandemic. The authorities handled the worst spread of infection, COVID-19. If a community is discussing about COVID-19, then the local authorities will give a prison sentence. The Turkmen people live under the notorious dictator leadership. The pressure given to citizens of Turkey, Turkmenistan, make it stifling. Cold dictatorship also affect mental health. Human rights in Turkmenistan have been so terrible for years. We are speaking here as a delegation of Turkmenistan to ask other countries to reach for help on this problem. The Open Society, Society Foundation New York State that took many citizens had an average life expectancy of six to seven years in 2002, the lowest. Thank you, Delegate of Turkmenistan. Your time has elapsed. Okay, we will invite the next speaker, which is Delegate of Canada. To the Delegate of Canada, you may have the floor. Good morning to all delegates. Uh, can you hear my voice? Okay. So the world unexpectedly was being struck by an infectious virus disease. This coronavirus is a serious problem that should be focused on. Counted from the very first time the virus appeared until today, it already spread to less or even more than 130 million citizens all around the world. This coronavirus is really impacted the physical and mental of the citizens. Some of the governments chose to implement lockdowns to overcome increase in the percentage of the coronavirus disease on their countries. In the other side, scientists have found the vaccines to the coronavirus, but not all countries got it. So I think this is a very serious problem to be focused on. And we should stick together. We should work together, uh, the governments and the citizens, to make um, our our world be peace and the pandemic is over. I think that's it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, delegate. Uh, next to speak is delegate of Canada. To the delegate of Canada, you may have the floor. Delegate of Canada, yes. Eh, no, sorry, uh, my mistake. Delegate of Korea, actually. Sorry. Uh, to the delegate of Korea, uh, you may have the floor. Thank you, Anna. Good morning, all delegates. Hello. Um, COVID of pandemic 
uh, a pandemic of COVID-19 has had strong influence and various felt that our social, economic, education and health system. Therefore, Republic of Korea is to implement government policy, the center of our policy to survive and control spread of COVID-19, to give uh, education information with clearly and uh, transparently established national task force that's restrictive in immigrant and trans in, in the South Korea health diagnosis, diagnosis testing on a large scale comprehensively. To address this issue, Republic of Korea would like recommends that the UN through or WHO to collaborate to make official policies systematically and organized to provide and prevention in the service and focus on health, treatment disease, and protection uh, of the vulnerable. To establish national task force to, uh, to each country and provide health facilities comprehensively and financially in every country. We believe that establishing official policies for all countries, we can reduce the spread of COVID-19 and build uh, a resilient health system for welfare to, to the world. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Republic of Korea. Next to speak is Delegate of Greece. To the Delegate of Greece, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chair, and good morning, all delegates. Coronavirus disease COVID-19 is an infection disease caused by the newly discovered coronavirus. Health is not a new not at international dimension that seems to be a never-ending name. And their image is like even in life and death. The coronavirus has been as strong when such a disease fell from place to place in every part of the world, such as Ebola, HIV, malaria, influenza, and others. The world of medicine already recorded 130 million more cases of corona, 105 million more discovered and a dear tool of over 2 million. In the case of coronavirus, we are really required to address the proven such concern. The WSO Univer region is supporting our country across the region to support the COVID-19 pandemic in ways they survive when minimizing the socioeconomic impact of recent measure. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Delegate of uh, Greece. Next to speak is Delegate of Mauritius, if I'm not mistaken. To the Delegate of Mauritius. Yes, Delegate. Bonjour okay. a tous. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable Church and dear Delegate. The country of Republic of Mauritius feels that the issue of the health in the world is important to WHO and as many countries all around the world. Progress has been an event and fire, but between and within countries, there is still a discrepancy between the countries with the shortest and longest life expectancies. Some people enjoy the benefit of cutting edge medical technologies, while others don't have the basic. At least half the world population lack access to essential health service, and every year, almost 100 million people are placed in extreme poverty by the cost of paying for care out of their own pockets. We urge each of you to use your influence, however small or large it may be, to ensure you heard of state or head, head of government is there, we must listen to the voice of health professional, nurse, midwife, doctors, and carers. We must allow the courage, ideas, and innovation of patients and communities all over the world to inspire us. We must focus our effort to ensure that everyone everywhere is able to join to highest attainable standard of health. Now is the time to achieve a healthier, safer, fairer world for health. Merci. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate of Mauritius. Next to speak, Delegate of Germany. To the Delegate of Germany, you may have the floor. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Good time. Germany has demonstrated proven leadership through its global health policy and strategy, and by providing WHO with German experience, expand expertise, and funding. The German healthcare system is governed uh, by the Joint Federal Committee, a public health organization empowered to create regulations that involve from health reform bills faced by council members, along with regular decisions on healthcare in Germany. Facing COVID-19, Germany is contributing to the G20 Finance Minister Economic Action Plan agreed with global partner to tackle the worldwide COVID-19 outbreak. Germany is also a collaborator in uh, Accelerator to rapidly scale up development, uh, production, and equitable access to new COVID-19 health technology. German Germany plays an important role in uh, emergency preparedness and re response and uh, is a major donor to uh, contingency fund and emergency and the international COVID-19 response. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you, Delegate of Germany. Next to speak is Delegate of Denmark. To the Delegate of Denmark, you may have the floor. In Denmark, like any other country in the world, parties are social distancing and only go out to make ends meet, like buying food or talking to work every few days to keep the mind in shape. The first diagnosis of the virus in Denmark was confirmed on February 27, 2020. In the past month, an additional 30, 300 people have tested positive and 90 have died from complications of the virus of uh, March uh, 31, 2020. The cause we take, including closing birth uh, on March 14, 2020, closing school on March 16, 2020, and bending gathering of 10 or more people on March 18, 2020. Thank you. Chair. Thank you, Delegate of Denmark. Next to speak is Delegate of Thailand. To the delegate of Thailand, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chairs. So, since the first case of coronavirus in Wuhan, China, the first case of coronavirus in, Wuhan, in Thailand was announced on 13 January 2020 and keeps growing. It makes Thailand is the first country that announced the case of coronavirus outside China. The Thai government is serious in controlling coronavirus cases in its country. With the help from the researchers among the Thai universities, it was proven in early February, doctors from Rajavitri Hospital Bangkok announced they have been successful in treating several cases of COVID-19. Plus, with a great collaboration between the government, the UN resident coordination in Thailand, and social responsibility was taking action to control and help each other. On the late of July, there was not any record of coronavirus cases between the domestic transmission for nearly two months. Therefore, the Thai government was optimistic can be managed the spread of coronavirus in Thailand without national lockdown and choose the other policy relying on provincial control to manage the spread of coronavirus among the migrants. So, with all the situation that happened worldwide and the situation in Thailand is fit quite well and can be controlled, there is still big one challenge ahead. So, we need to strengthen our health facility. In Thailand, we have an estimation to build 207 testing and research laboratory. Thank you. Hopun uh, Khab. Thank you, Delegate of Thailand. Next to speak is Delegate of Ethiopia. To the Delegate of Ethiopia, you may have the floor. Thank you. Ethiopia is defined as a poor country on the continent of Afri Africa. The Ethiopia government declared an emergency status to help prevent the spread to coronavirus pandemic. When a pandemic like this makes the Ethiopia uh, country more and more stagnant with its daily life, due to the lockdown, Ethiopia is experiencing hung hunger. The government forced the avoid cause the prohibit people from visiting its other or large scale. One hundred million people are the dying during this pandemic and they have also imposed a uh, COVID to avoid crowns. Ethiopia have recorded 55 cases of coronavirus and two deaths to death. Due to the deterring station, the Ethiopia government has de decided to declare a stasis of a stasis of emergency under Article 93 of the Constitution, said Premier Minister A.B. Ahmed F. Conduit by al -Zare. I call on everyone to work Thank together. Thank you, Delegate of Ethiopia. Your time has elapsed. Okay. We'll continue to the next speaker, which is Delegate of Argentina. To Delegate of Argentina, you may have the floor. Okay, uh, hola, buenos dias. Soy delegado de Argentina. Encantado de conocerte. First of all, we want to thank for the chairs for the change today. Uh, health is being one of the most crucial issues in this world. Since the coronavirus came on 2019, we're struggling in every side of life. We know that we do 
no, we did have ways to reducing the infected person of coronavirus. Uh, again, to not yourself, postpone flight and applying social distancing to the vaccine before uh, do vaccine again that is being the uh, lowest uh, lowest uh, lowest rank of the country that has uh, infected from coronavirus but now after we open our lockdown is uh, we being the most highest rank in the world and we hope that we can apply for an international fund loan and applying large scale social restriction so we hope we can surpass this condition together and we need to work work together for all the delegates and all the all the country of all the world okay thank you thank you delegate of argentine next to speak is delegate of indonesia to the delegate of indonesia you may have the floor thank you sir good morning ladies and gentlemen we all record 2020 as a very tough year. The COVID-19 virus pandemic has caused a world health crisis to the world economic crisis that has hit more than 215 countries. Many people who lost their job, which causes 2020 to be a tallest crisis in the world history. There is one most important condition that we must do to achieve this recovery. We must succeed in the overcoming the coronavirus pandemic. We must stop this outbreak immediately. In it is not an easy thing, but the government will keep work hard to control the case by vaccinating. We said that all citizens must be disciplined in implementing the health protocol that have been determined by the government. If we can do all of that, then 2021 will become a historical record as a year of a recovery for all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate of Indonesia. Next to speak is Delegate of Philippines. To the Delegate of Philippines, you may have the floor. Uh, okay, thank you for the change. Uh, it's delegates from Philippines. Uh, this this During this COVID-19 pandemic, uh, some people may have experienced fear, boredom, loneliness, and anger. The tremendous profound emotional trauma and socioeconomic stress effects of the pandemic, even suicide, were the second major during the lockdown. The Ministry of Health is jointly raising awareness of the importance of public mental health, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, in collaboration with the World Health Organization. Uh, the most vulnerable people are in the age range 15 to 29 years in global. These numbers illustrate the requirement for more conversations and programs that will break the stigma surrounding mental health. Uh, most times, Filipinos feel uncomfortable sharing their mental health challenges out of fear of isolation or prejudice. Health Minister Francisco T. Duke said that the importance of mental health initiatives is just uh, as important as the initiative for the COVID-19 pandemic and now more than ever we need to promote holistic health where we care for our body mind and even spirit in the philippines where thank you, you thank, you. Okay, thank, thank you. you uh next to speak it is the state of israel to the Shalom, chair Yes. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, delegate of Israel, we can hear you clearly. You may have the floor. Okay. At the end of the 2019, a new outbreak called COVID 19. In early 2020, it had more than 190 countries. Then we have WHO announced COVID 19 as a pandemic. This pandemic hit the social and economic life lines of every of every country, just like other countries, our country also feel the same way. Israel enforced the health protocol regulations as wearing masks, keeping your distance, and maintain clean, cleanliness and health for our citizens. Our country has a special cooperation with BioNTech, Persevere, and 
to develop vaccine COVID and also willing to pay more extensive than other countries. We also turned the bar into vaccination clinic and it's proven that almost half of the population of Israel has been vaccinated. vaccinated. It's our country state and national social solution in fighting this pandemic. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Delegate of Israel. Uh, to the Delegate and next to speak is the Delegate of Australia. To the Delegate of Australia, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chair. Good morning, Chairs and all of the Delegates. Coronavirus has been a serious problem in the world, but talking about how system, our government, the Commonwealth of Australia, has succeeded in providing proper facilities to support health system issues in our communities. We can give fast health service for our communities and every worker in our country has an access to Australian health insurance and our government also make a right decision to isolate it all of the country. As a result, we could control the number of COVID-19 cases in our country. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate of Australia. Next to speak is Delegate of Netherlands. To the Delegate of Netherlands, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chair. Good morning, Dr. Mas and Heron. I am the Afar Vardigan van the Koning in the Netherlands. The Netherlands is one of the few countries that has embraced the idea of herd immunity. The approach which is still disputed is what the Dutch health expert has called a cold and calculating one. The Dutch government wants to protect social, economic, and psychological aspects from the impact of the lockdown so that the one day returning uh, to normal condition will be easier. The Dutch Public Health Agency has launched a study to look at how far antibodies are created when people are exposed to it, but are still effective in preventing reinfection. The Dutch citizen is directed to stay at home, but residents can leave the house if they cannot work from home or have to shop for daily necessities or breathe fresh air as long as they keep a distance of 1.5 and, uh, meters from each other. The concern now is that the Dutch approach may be uh, based on more aspiration rather than real intelligence so that the Dutch style smart lockdown doesn't uh, make the conscious population immune to the coronavirus. However, the Dutch government continues to strive for the distribution of vaccines that are evenly uh, distributed among the people. Uh, however, the idea of a smart lockdown based on evidence and figures is very different from the assertive approach adopted by neighboring Belgium, which also has a high mortality rate. Thank you so much. Dank je, Chair. Okay, dank. Thank you uh, to the delegate. To the next next to speak, which is the last uh, speaker for this uh, general speaker list, is delegate of Vietnam. To delegate of Vietnam, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chair. Xin Hao. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's the delegate of the Chinese Republic of Vietnam here. With a population of almost 69 million people, Vietnam was extremely vulnerable to the pandemic, which began in neighboring China. Yet, as of today, Vietnam has recorded just over 2,626 cases and 35 of deaths. And there are like uh, 5,000 or 55,000 and 200 of vaccines that have been given. Vietnam has invested heavily in its healthcare system with public health expenditures per capita increasing in average rate of 9% uh, per year between 2000 and 2016. This investment has paid off with rapidly improving health indicators. For example, infant mortality and maternal mortality decreased by more than half between 6, uh, 19, 19, 1920 and 2018. The success has been attributed to several key factors, including a well-development public health system, a decisive central government, and a proactive containment strategy based on comprehensive testing, tracing, and quarantine. The Vietnamese success in dealing with coronavirus has been recorded by numerous Western outlets, including the BBC, The Telegraph, and The Wall Street Journal. This is a very serious problem because it's given us uh, such a lot of negativity impacts, such as loss of jobs and not be able to go into school or campus, etc. So we all should stick together. Thank you so much, Delegate of Vietnam. With Delegate of Vietnam has been speak, uh, the general speaker list has been end, and now we're moving on to the formal debate. Now, for those of you who wish to propose a motion, now you, the floor has been open. Uh, we do recommend.
to propose if uh, somehow you propose moderated caucus to have 20 minutes uh, total time and one minute speaker speaker time to have more speaker throughout this moderated caucus that is our recommendation other than that the floor are now open for those of you who wish to propose a motion you may raise your hand now Okay, Russian Federation, you have been recognized. No, I'm sorry, sir. It's uh... it's what delegate? Are you proposing? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Oh, okay, okay then. Uh, are there any other country who wish to propose a motion? You may raise your hand now, like what we have already learned from the uh, last week class. You may propose a motion from raising your hand first, raising your hand, and then the chair will acknowledge, and then you will propose your motion to discuss some certain topics. Okay, delegates, are there any delegates who wish to propose a motion? You may raise your hand now. Okay, uh, delegates, you must propose any motion because we need a motion to have a discussion. So that's why we really urge you to propose a motion. Okay. Uh, delegates, you may raise your hand. Okay, delegate of uh, Federation uh, Nepal. Delegate of Nepal, you may uh, propose. You have been recognized. Sorry. Yes, delegate. Uh, so I just talk mm -hmm. about uh talk about my country, or I just uh, I have to open the data. Sorry, delegate. What is it? Your connection, it seems. Oh, okay. Did I have to speak it, or I have to open the data? Oh yeah, it is already under the chair discretion. It is already open. Okay. Okay. So do you wish to propose a motion? Uh, can I ask? Uh, what delegate? Can I ask something? Yes. Uh, can I uh, can I just ask uh, first the delegate of federal democrats like that? Um, sorry, I could not reach you there. Uh, Chair Randy, do you uh, hear what the delegate has asked? Uh, no. Uh, Nepal, can you repeat your question? Uh, I do understand how to start. Yes, can I start with the delegate of federation? Would like to write a motion? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sh sure, oh, you can raise the motion. Oh, just I will speak like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have given the example of the format on how to raise a motion in the chat. Oh, I can see. Oh, I see. Sorry, yeah. so sorry. The delegate of Federation Democratic Republic of Nepal would like to raise a motion for a moderated conference to discuss country past action for five minutes with one minute each speaker time. Uh, for how many total time? Uh, for this minute with one minute speaker time. With, uh, sorry. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes, five five minutes. minutes total time and one minute for each. Okay, okay uh, delegate of uh, Nepal, would you wish to uh, change your total time to accommodate more speaker to 20 minutes? No. Okay, only five minutes. Okay. okay. Um, dele delegate of Nepal is. Do you want under the chair recommendation? Would you like to revise your total time into twenty minutes? Mm, yeah. Okay. Cool. So Thank twenty you. minutes. Uh, for total time and one minute for each speaking time. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, that is in order. Uh, are there any other motions on the floor? 
okay delegate the floor now open you may raise your hand and propose a motion like what we have learned uh, if an example if you want to propose a motion you raise your hand the chair recognize okay delegate of indonesia for example and then okay thank you chair delegate of indonesia would like to propose a moderated caucus for 20 minutes total time and one minute speaking time to discuss the issue of blah 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 or topic of blah 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 okay uh, russian federation you raising your hand Okay, the Senate of Russian Federation would like to propose a moderate calculus for 10 minutes total right. time with the COVID-19 topic and health system. COVID-19 topic and the COVID-19 health system. Okay. Okay. Okay, then for how many speaking time? 10 minutes. Uh, that is total time. Speaking time, one minute. Oh, sorry, five minutes. Oh, five minutes. Okay, then. Uh, five minutes speaking time. So it means it's only two delegates who speak. Okay, then that is in order. Thank you, Delegate of Russian Federation. Are there yes. any other motions? Uh, delegate? Yes. yes. Okay. Republic of Argentine, you have been recognized. Hello? Can, yes. you all hear, can you all hear my voice? Yes, delegate, we can hear you. Uh, okay, uh, thank you. Uh, delegates of Argentina would like to propose a moderated caucus uh, for one minute total time and one minute speaking time with the topic of uh, new uh, public design life after COVID-19. Okay, uh, first of all, delegate of Argentina, uh, mm -hmm. May you uh, revise under under the chair recommendation. May you revise your time to uh, twenty minutes total time so that twenty speaker can speak upon this motion. Change your time to uh, twenty. Yes, months. sure. Yes. Okay then. Twenty for minutes. the twenty minutes total time. And one minute speaking time. Okay. Speaking thank time. you. Okay. Thank you. You're delegate. very welcome. Okay. <laughs> now uh, we will start voting on each motion uh at least uh, everyone must vote you may use uh, the sorry, sorry. Uh, Rafael, can, you read, can you read the whatsapp group okay okay then okay okay mm, okay then uh chair andy you may take in charge for this one uh okay uh so for the delegate of russia uh under the chair discussion, we would like to set the total, the maximum time for the speaking time for one minute, according to the organizing committee as well. So would you like to revise your speaking time to one minute instead of five minutes? Delegate of Russia? No, sir. Um, okay, uh, he, here's the thing. Um, every speakers, uh, I think the motion will be better be discussed with more speakers involved in it. So if you want to talk more, you can extend the motion right after every speaker is able to speak in your motion, right? So therefore, we suggest you to revise your speaking time from five minutes to one minute. Um, oh, okay. Okay, sir. Okay, cool. Uh, thank you, Delegate of Russia. Uh, Rafi, you move okay uh thank you delegates uh now uh, we would like to entertain um to voting in voting procedure so delegates now we will choose each one uh, to vote the minimum majority is uh 44. so what is the meaning of majority vote so it means it needs a 44 votes for a motion to be passed and to be discussed okay uh, right now, everyone, uh, we we would like to test first. Can you guys uh, press yes now, everyone, in the participant? Uh, can you? Okay, I see. Everyone, please uh, press uh, either yes or no, please, so we can check if it is work or not. Okay, everyone, please. Uh, you you know uh, you can just click yes or no. Any anything of it. We would like to test it out first. Okay. Okay, I see uh, everyone, please, everyone, every country. Yes or no, that doesn't matter. 
yes, uh, I see only 30 people. Please, everyone, click the yes button so that I could know the 14 for each motion. Okay, I see there's only 40. Can uh, I guess there is a 66? No, uh, 86 delegates, so it must be uh, there are 86 to vote. Are there any delegates who have a problem with the yes and no button? Yeah, this is just a trial. We just want to test it. Okay. Okay. I sorry, see. Chair, uh, yes. I'm sorry, Chair, to cut you. Uh, can I uh, propose a motion? Uh, motion for, okay. So for each session, uh, there will be only three motions that we. Uh, will uh, entertain and then we will vote upon each motion. So you may uh, propose the motion in the next uh, next uh, time after this uh, motion has been voted. That's okay. it. Okay, thank you. Okay, and if you have a question, you may ask points. That's it. Okay, um, we see there is only, everyone please click yes uh, for now. Uh, we would like to check. Okay, please click yes now. Everyone, every country, please click yes, because we, we really need to check. Yes. OK, there is only 50 from 80. Can everyone click yes? It is hard to vote if we cannot see the voting. OK. OK, um, from the committee, uh, do you have any uh, other plan because uh, there is only about 50 people can do the vote the other cannot do the vote so uh, how do we use the voting procedures committee uh, you may just unmute or james uh, oh. you can uh, check the whatsapp group okay uh, hello yes so uh, the yes or no is only 13 seconds and raise hand is permanent. So probably yes, jadi raise hand dulu baru nanti. Uh, untuk no juga raise hand. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. The, 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 raise hand button. Yeah, the, the number keep decreasing because there's a time limit in yes or no button. Um, okay then. Okay, okay. For, okay, with that being said, uh, we just use the raise hand button. Uh, can everyone do the raise hand for the trial? Everyone, raise your hand. Everyone, uh, use the raise hand button. Okay. Okay. I would like to see everyone. Mm. Okay. Okay, then. I haven't seen the other country. Raise, raise your hand, delegates, by using the raise hand button. Please. Yeah, this is for voting. We need it. OK, then. We see about uh, 62 people can raise their hand, or 60. So yeah, we would like to use this raise hand button then. OK, then. Everyone, uh, now if you are in favor, you we would like to, you know, just entertain, uh, raise your hand. Okay, now um, everyone, uh, lower your hand, lower your hand, lower. Uh, don't raise your hand now. We will start uh, in footing. So yes, first of all, for those of you who are in favor or agree with the motion from Delegate of Nepal, uh, please raise your hand now. Okay, three participants. If you agree with the motion, you will speak upon uh, that motion. Everyone is speak about the motion. Okay. Um, okay, delegate, for those of you who are in favor with this motion, please raise your hand. Okay, we will wait from 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Okay, with only uh, about uh, 19 votes, this motion automatically fails. Now we will vote upon the next motion from Delegate of Argentine because of the time itself. Okay, now for those of you, okay, everyone lower your hand first. Okay, for those of you who are in favor with the motion from Delegate of Argentine, you may raise your hand now. We need 44 votes. So everyone must vote. Okay, we still need more. Okay, okay, 44, remember it, 44. Okay, we already have 34, 10 more. We really recommend you to raise your hand on this one so that you could understand the moderated caucus itself and, uh, you know, just vote. Okay, there is only 37. We still need uh, seven more. Okay. Okay, everyone, we still need six, five more. So yeah, I have to use this one because this is the only chance for moderate caucus. Okay, we still need six more, uh, five more, sorry. Uh, for those of you who are in favor or agree with this motion, please raise your hand. Please raise your hand, delegates. Uh, yeah, don't worry. The one who raising their hand will not be automatically choose to speak. Don't worry, we will add it later on. Okay, one more. Okay, there is 40. Three. Okay, okay, already 44 uh, votes. So it means this motion automatically pass. And now we will invite 20 speaker to speak upon this motion. Everyone, please lower their hand. Everyone lower their hand. <laughs> this is online, so we will have this kind of technicalities. It is okay. Okay, now we will invite uh, 10 and no. 20 speaker to speak upon the motion from delegate of Argentine. So for those of you who wish to speak, please raise your hand. Okay, uh, Republic of Korea. Uh, James, you may add it in the, uh, no, no, in the formal debate. It's okay, it's in the formal debate. Uh, just later on, yeah, uh, below, uh, from that point. Okay, now we will invite 20 speaker. Uh, I see delegate of, Republic of Korea, Korea. Oh, first of all, to delegate of Argentina, would, would you wish to speak first or last? Delegate of Argentina? I will speak last. Okay, last. Okay, then. Okay, thank you. Okay, last speaker. Okay, we see. Okay, we will entertain uh, 19 more speaker. Delegate of Brunei. Of Korea, delegate of Brunei. Okay, are there any other delegate who wish to speak? Because if not, we will choose under the chair discretion or we will choose it ourselves. So you may voluntarily speak. <laughs> okay, are there for those of you who wish to be added to this list to speak upon the motion from delegate of Argentine, you may raise your hand now. Everyone, uh, quick tips from the chair it's okay. Uh, uh, we will uh, have a training here. This is just a simulation. So, you know, just be brave for this one. Uh, just, you know, prepare yourself to speak in one minute. Okay, uh, we will invite more speaker. Okay, if there are no one raising their hand, the chair will automatically choose the delegate. Okay, we would like to count. From five, four, okay, Kingdom of Spain. Spain. Okay, are there other delegate wish to speak? Um, sorry, Chair. Sorry, Chair. Oh, yeah, yes, delegate. Kingdom of Spain want to join with motion of Argentina. Yes, Kingdom of Spain, right? Yeah. To everyone who wants to be added to this list to speak upon this motion, you just have to raise your hand now. Okay, thank you, Delegate of Spain. Okay, are there any other delegates who wish to speak? 
delegate of China. Oh yes, for those of you who have problems with raising hand, you may use the chat and write your country name. Wish to speak like delegate of China. Wish to speak and all of that. Okay. Okay. Are there any to be added to the list? Chair Andy, should we use under the chair discretion? Uh, yes. Okay, then, because none of you who are raising your hand, we will choose each country to speak, like for now. Okay, we would like to choose delegate of Japan. Uh, delegate of, that haven't been speak, Angola. Delegate of Angola. Delegate of Bulgaria. Delegate of Haiti. Thank you. Uh, Delegate of USA. Okay, Delegate of Mauritius. Okay, Delegate of Singapore. Delegate of Trinidad and Tobago. Delegate of Ukraine. Uh, by the way, Uzbekistan would like to raise a point. Delegate of Uzbekistan. Okay, yeah. I see. Yeah. I, I would like to propose a point of parliamentary inquiry because uh, we need the forward and the info because of our unstable connection. Can the chair like repeat so. the post maybe? Uh, like the past info about the uh, vote for, and like the motion, we can know about the vote. Okay, you want to see yeah. the motion? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you may and see the, the past screen. info. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we already have. Like uh, which which motion do we use now? Okay, delegate of Argentine motion that has already uh, been uh, voted. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. We see five people raising their hand. Okay, first of all, delegate of Kenya, then delegate of Indonesia, delegate of Nepal. Okay, um, Kingdom of Thailand, Thailand or Thailand. For those of you who are still raising up. Okay, for those of you who already been added, please lower your hand, okay? Like Kingdom of Thailand have been added, please lower your hand. Okay. Um, is Russia has been added or not? Yes. Okay, then. Okay, we still have uh, three more slots. For those of you who wish to speak, you may raise your hand. Okay, India, or India, okay. Delegate of India has been added. Okay, Delegate of New Zealand. New Zealand, and the last one will be Delegate of Vanuatu. Okay, now we will entertain uh, from the first speaker on this motion. Uh, okay, can the reporter? Uh, okay. Okay, it is kind of blurry. Who is the first speaker? It's Korea. Oh, Korea. Okay, then. Uh, Mr. Reporter, you may uh, add the, no, the timer, please. Okay, everyone will have one minute to speak. Okay. Now we will start from delegate of Korea to speak upon this motion and this certain topic. To the delegate of Korea, you may have the floor. Uh, sorry, Chair. Uh, I think um, I'll be later to uh, give a motion. Um, you. Uh, so here it is. So actually, if you are now has been added to the list, you have to speak upon this motion. Even though it's only 20 seconds, 10 seconds, it is still fine. But at least you have to speak. Uh, and, and you have to speak uh, regarding the motion itself, the topic that has been proposed uh, now from delegate of Argentina. Okay? Yes, you may speak. <laughs> okay, delegate of Korea, you may have the floor. 
Thank you, Honorable Chair. I think this topic is very interactive. Uh, new public health design for after like COVID. It's um uh build build health public uh an increase um public health issue to uh, have been important across uh, all country in in recent years. Government grapple with uh, the best way to prevent disease in uh, health and help their population live longer ha uh, healthier lives. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Next to speak is delegate of uh, what delegate of who are next to speak? Is it delegate of Spain? It's Brunei. Brunei. Okay, sorry, it is kind of blurry in here. Okay, to the delegate of uh, Brunei, you may have the floor. Yeah, uh, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, it's a very interesting topic. Uh, uh, first of all, we didn't expect any of COVID from the start, you know, uh, it's come suddenly and it took so many lives. So I think that we Brunei Darussalam did is to make an investment for, for health facility. So we may prevent something similar happen uh, on the future uh, because we know something like this is uh, suddenly like coming suddenly and we we don't we don't know when it's coming so to prevent that uh, we invest something to make health facility thank you okay thank you uh, next to speak is delegate of spain to the delegate of spain you may have the floor okay thank you chair um for all the government we have to vaccination for citizen the national vaccination program carried out by the all government aimed to reduce the level of spread of the COVID-19 virus. Vaccines also function to increase and form the, antib the antibodies so that the body is not susceptible to contracting the COVID-19 virus. Okay, thank you, Chair. Okay, thank you, Delegate of Spain. Next to speak is the delegate of China. To the delegate of China, you may have the floor. Um, hello to the group of chairs and all the delegates. Like uh, here, like we could see that uh, Argentina has um, highest cases of coronavirus. So, as you know, that China is um, the one of uh, the one of a country who has a product uh, production producing um vaccine and so china would like to ask all the countries to help the vulnerable country uh, by the guideline of who thank you thank you uh, delegate of china next to speak is the delegate of india eh, sorry, sorry delegate of japan sorry to the delegate of uh, japan you may have the floor Thank you, Chair. Uh, it is a very interesting uh, topic about new public health design for life after COVID because uh, COVID not only changed about uh, our life about health, but COVID changed, uh, changed uh, about the economic system, politics system, and li lifestyle. Uh, and our lifestyle, our politic system, and economic system will change after uh, COVID. This COVID. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, delegate of Japan. Next to speak is the delegate of Angola. To the delegate of Angola, you may have the floor. Yes. Thank you, sir. Wait up. Uh, with a prom approximately half the world in lockdown, still face an enormous challenge to maintain a relative normality in the provisions of public service. So we can uh, ensure the health service for all the world is can be done. So that is from my speech. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Delegate of Angola. Uh, next to speak is the delegate of Bulgaria. To the delegate of Bulgaria, you may have the floor. Okay, uh, this is an interesting topic. Uh, our government in Bulgaria already made a lot of uh, public health 
facility and giving a lot of vaccine for all Bulgarians. Even there's uh, some who refuse the vaccine. And I think we need to keep a campaign about the health protocol and for the, and for the future. Okay, that's all for me. Okay, thank you, Delegate of Bulgaria. Next to speak is the Delegate of Haiti. To the Delegate of Haiti, you may have the floor. Delegate of Haiti. Are there a Delegate of Haiti there? Uh, wait a minute, we'll check it out in the participant. Yes, Delegate of Haiti are there, but uh, it is unresponsive. Okay, one more call, Delegate of Haiti, are you there? If not, we will continue to the next speaker. Okay, seems like Delegate of Haiti is not in here. We will continue to the next speaker, which is Delegate of USA. To the Delegate mm -hmm. of USA, you may have the floor. Delegate of USA, you may unmute yourself. Okay, is it just the chair connection or the delegate of USA is still muted? Delegate of USA is muted. Okay, delegate of USA, are you having connection problem? Okay, how do you, delegate of USA answer if delegate of USA have connection problem? Okay, um, seems like delegate of USA have a connection problem. This will be wise to continue to the next speaker, which is the delegate of Mauritius. To the delegate of Mauritius, you may have the floor. We agree that motion because life after the COVID-19 outbreak will never be the same. We are at the beginning of the end waiting for a new beginning. Planet Earth will, will break its cooperation agreement with making unless we are generally face our behavior. The forecast pair one by one, some of the, them are more optimistic, some not. But almost everyone agrees that. Despite the decline of such unprecedented uh, scale, humanity will still find the strength to recover. Values will change, our life and habits will change, and our home will also change in that influence. With that, thank you. Okay, thank you, Delegate of Mauritius. Next to, next to speak is Delegate of Singapore. The Delegate of Singapore, you may have the floor. Uh, as well as from organization to help healthcare facilities address near-term needs related to the current COVID-19 pandemic, as well as to better inform plans and projects in development now and in the future. While these resources were created to help minimize the impact of infection and transmittable disease in healthcare facilities. We hope we find these resources informative and helpful, and we remain in good health. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate of Singapore. Next to speak is the Delegate of Trinidad and Tobago. To the Delegate of Trinidad and Tobago, you may have the floor. Uh, Argentina topic is good uh, because this, this virus uh, changed everything in the world uh, from economic uh, and other things. Uh, and I think uh, it's very interesting to discuss. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate of Syria and Tobago. Next to speak is the Delegate of Ukraine. To the Delegate of Ukraine, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chair. Uh, for Ukraine, um, we chose to COVID-19 topic uh, because, as we all know, the COVID-19 virus that is currently being faced by the whole world is really, is really an important problem for all of us. So yeah, I think I choose COVID-19 topic. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate of Ukraine. Next to speak is the Delegate of Kenya. The Delegate of Kenya, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chad. For life after COVID-19, we are trusting we do to reduce and be able to continue life after COVID-19 is so vaccinated and always use your mask when in public. Thank you, Jack. 
Thank you, Delegate of Kenya. Next to speak is the Delegate of Indonesia. The Delegate of Indonesia, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chair. There are those who implement lockdown, stay at home policies, maintain distance or physical distancing, quarantine areas, and many others. In Indonesia, the government enforces a large scale social restriction policy. No one knows when this pandemic will end. But the policies of large scale social restriction have not yet to produce maximum result. This is proven by the increasing number of positive cases of Corona every day. According to him, this is more due to a lack of monitoring of supervision and massive education in the community. Besides that, the addition of positive cases of COVID-19 in Indonesia is still increasing. So I think the left scale of the world community will change. People will be more vigilant Thank and pay attention you, to the delegate of Indonesia. Your time as well. Thank you. Now we continue to the next speaker, which is delegate of Nepal. To the delegate of Nepal, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chair. The topic of Argentina is so good, but the life after COVID. Life after COVID has changed a lot of habits that we get. Uh, for example, like, oh, well, we can be aware from how key. Uh, one thing that we bless that COVID-19 is people more aware about how uh, about the whole key. Before COVID-19 uh, happened, uh, just, uh, we think only uh, uh only um uh, you know person that be aware of uh the health needs. more of the people they don't aware of the health needs. uh we also uh life after COVID changed a lot of things such uh economy politics social uh, I think it's enough. Thank you, Delegate of Nepal. Next to speak is Delegate of Thailand. To the Delegate of Thailand, you may have the floor. So, thank you, the chairs, and Argentine for the topic. So, Thailand is the one of the many countries around the world who succeed to control the COVID-19 cases. So, what we do, we do. So, the first of all, we need to use our societies with the new, new normal lifestyle. And it in and in Thailand itself, we have many volunteers to have the government because we know the government can cannot work alone. Like the student of many universities, the monks, and the many the many institutions like UN resident coordination. So everyone should take an action and realize of what we're facing until everyone got vaccinated. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate of Thailand. Next to speak is the Delegate of India. To the Delegate of India, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chair. So in order to address this motion, the Republic of India would like to propose a solution that would call as uh, so the United World Health Program, this program that we will propose consists of several ideas and mechanism process which will follow uh, for process one, the establishment and invita in invitation towards all country around the world to join and participate in the conference day named as the International Health Energy Day and the process two, a holding of con con convention that will be called the World Health Convention. Uh, and process three, uh, a, construct, a construction of United World Health Program office all around the world. So this United uh, United World Health Pro Program office will not be treated like an embassy, as this office will focus on health problem that exists all around the world, which will serve. Thank you, the Delegate of India. Your time has elapsed. Next to speak is the Delegate of New Zealand. To the delegate of New Zealand, you may have the floor. Okay, thank you, Chair, and um, uh, honorable, uh, thank you, Honorable Chair and fellow delegates. So, uh, I would like to uh, 
talk about the topic from delegates of Argentina, which is the new public health design for life after COVID-19. Uh, okay, we believe uh, in New Zealand that every country will make an improvement in health system. Uh, and then in New Zealand also, we have already made an every medical information or the health system is uh, basically full computerized. So that's why we can have a good framework on it. Then um, the, the ideas for the health design in future, for example, we think that we can invest on like improving infection uh, prevention. So we can, uh, more health system will use the UV light or sterilizing mist in high and medium risk areas. And then uh, also we suggest that uh, we will have greater supply chain control so we can avoid the future supply shortage in medical system. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Delegate of New Zealand. Next to speak is the Delegate of Vanuatu. To the Delegate of Vanuatu, you may have the floor. Thank you for the opportunity. All the delegates, uh, we'll hope that after, life, after COVID is better than before. So before we start the new life, uh, the government and the WHO should build a stronger health system with a small step such as ensuring health services in small areas or countries that are struggling in the health sector so that from a small point the spread of the COVID virus will be interrupted but we must also ensure that the community use the service thank you uh, thank you delegate of Vanuatu and the last speaker for this motion uh, which is the proposal delegate of Argentina to the delegate of Argentina you may have the floor uh, thank you chair life after COVID-19 is very blurry we know that we are struggling. In Argentina itself, we did uh, stressed uh, obesity and many more. And uh, when we are quarantined in home, we don't do exercise any at all. And it makes uh, anxiety. And so we need to uh, set a new public design that will friendly for everyone, uh, such as uh, widen new public space pop up bikes, line, pedestrian only zone, and widen the side walls and indicate social distancing measures. Because uh, we, we all know the macroeconomy context leads us to be less ambitious, but we should do more than what we did before for the better life, the better future for all the citizens over the world. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Delegate of Argentina. With the Delegate of Argentina has been speak, this motion has been elapsed and now, uh the floor now open for any type of motion uh, i hope you guys still remember how to propose a motion now if i said the floor now open uh, are there any points or motion on the floor you may just uh, uh raise your hand and then i will recognize you and then you can propose your motion okay now the floor is still open for those of you who wish to propose a motion please raise your hand now yes uh, thank you for the example chair andy yeah you may propose a motion that could have other delegate discussing some issues some specific topic so that we could have a discussion okay the floor open are there any points of motion on the floor please raise your hand after you raise your hand i will recognize and then you propose delegate don't make this awkward <laughs> Please raise your hand, not to camera, through the Zoom. Like, okay, delegate of China, you raise your hand. You have been recognized. Delegate of China? Yes, all right. So, okay. uh, hello, everyone. Yes. Everyone knows that every, uh, every country... Oh, sorry, Should delegate now? of China, uh, would you like to propose a motion? Oh, okay. Some motion. Yeah. Would you like to propose a motion? If you would like, you may state that, like, for example, Delegate of China would like to propose a moderated caucus, blah, 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 blah. Would you like to propose a motion? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm, Delegate of China would like to propose some motion. Mm -hmm. uh, like, um, for yeah like suggest uh actually i need a clue you know okay yeah you may uh, you know in the chat you can see the example 
uh, for example, delegate of China would like to propose oh, a moderated yes. caucus with All a right. total time of 20 minutes and one minute speaking time to discuss about your topic. Okay? Yeah. Okay, you may start. Hello, everyone. Delegates of China would like to propose a motion with the total time of a minute and one minute speaking time uh, with the topics of how to struggle and end the COVID-19. Um, Thank you. What, what is that sound? I mean, uh, sorry, delegate. Uh, the motion should not be a question, but rather an issue, a topic. So the issue is like, no, I, I mean, the issue is uh, how to struggle and add to end the COVID-19. And I would like to speak about this topic with all the delegates in this conference. I mean, it's, I mean, okay, it's struggle. Mm -hmm. okay, how then. to, yeah, how to struggle. How to struggle? Yes. Uh, uh, the chair believes the topic. I mean, I mean, it's just that kind of topic. Maybe it sounds weird. Or yeah, sounds probably, so uh, delegate, uh, it, will, it will be better to have the topic only struggle of COVID 19. So oh, that yeah. countries could have their perspective towards it. Okay. Yeah, that's so, better one. Okay, thank you. Uh, we might revise it, and then your time should be revised. As our recommendation is twenty minutes and one minute. Twenty minutes? Are you kidding me? Yes, oh, okay. uh, delegate. Uh, here it is. Total time means that we will discuss this for twenty minutes, and speaking time. If there are one minute, it means there is twenty ah. people have yeah. one minute. Yeah, between twenty time. people. 20 yeah. minutes for 20 people. Yes, okay. exactly. Thank you. My pleasure. Plus, up to you. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, thank you, Delegate of China, for the motion, moderated caucus. Remember, moderated caucus or unmoderated caucus. Okay, thank you. Now, are there any... Oh, okay, there are already other motion. Republic Wait. of Armenia. Thank you, Delegate of China. Republic of Armenia, you, pro you have been recognized. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. So uh, I would like to uh, propose a motion with the total time of uh, twenty minutes and one time one minute time speaking. Okay. And, uh, to be honest, my motion is similar with the uh, China, but I would like to specific it with the uh, maybe we forget about the our conflict. Some sorry, I mean some country is or struggle with the conflict area. Okay. So what is your motion? Yeah, I would like to question about how does the uh, healthcare system on the conflict area and how does the, uh, the okay. conflict struggle about it? Okay, first of all, to every delegate as well, uh, motion should not be a question, but rather a topic. For example, uh, struggle in the health system, and then they will discuss about the struggle in this, their uh, health system as well. So uh, you may not use how, but rather the topic itself, okay? So may you revise it? Uh, health system on the conflict uh, on the conflict area. Okay, health system on the conflict area. That's better. Thank you, delegate of Armenia. Okay, last motion we have. Uh, okay, from Negara Brunei Darussalam. Yeah, I've been recognized. Yeah, I would like to uh, propose a motion about the caucus. Yeah, yeah, moderated caucus for twenty minutes. Twenty minutes uh, about uh, lockdown and social distancing. I would like to know which one is more okay. efficient. Okay, lockdown for and social distancing. Okay, then that is in order. Uh, for how many speaking time? Is it one? Oh, uh, uh, one minute. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, uh, okay, uh, every with everyone has okay. So each session we only have three motion, and then we only vote for these three motions. Okay, delegates, you may lower your hand now, uh, delegates. Okay, now we will vote upon each motion. Okay, delegate of Uzbekistan, you may lower your hand. Okay, then 
We will vote upon each motion. Start from the motion from the delegate of China. If you are interested to speak on the motion from the delegate of China, you may raise your hand. And remember, we need 44 votes to pass a motion. I hope it is understandable. Okay, now for those of you who are in favor or agree with the motion from delegate of China about the struggle of the COVID-19, you may raise your hand now. Okay. Okay, we only see four participants. Okay, we will like to count from 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three to one with only nine participants who raised their hand uh, this motion automatically fails now we will vote upon the next motion from the delegate of who is the second one armenia armenia thank you to the delegate to every delegate who are in favor or agree with the motion from the delegate of armenia you may raise your hand now Remember, if you vote for this motion, it, seem, it, it means that uh, you will speak upon this motion and this motion is something you want to talk to, you want to discuss. If not, you just have, you don't raise your hand. Okay, we start counting. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. With 15 participants, this motion automatically fails. Now to the last motion, and we really recommend everyone to vote. <laughs> okay, from the last motion from Delegate of Brunei to have the motion of lockdown and social distancing. For those of you who are in favor with this motion or agree with this motion, please raise your hand now. Okay. Okay, still counting. Remember, we need 44 uh, votes. Okay, there's our 30, we need 14 more. Okay, 33, 35, 10 more, please. 10 more participant votes. Okay, everyone, we really recommend you to vote on this motion so that we can discuss something. Okay, uh, delegates. Um, Okay, we are still waiting because this is the only motion that gets the most vote. Okay, we still need eight more votes. Everyone, if you agree, please raise your hand. Agree with the motion doesn't mean you will speak upon this motion. No, uh, that will be voluntarily. Uh, okay, okay, we see 36. We still need uh, six more. Delegate, please, if you are in favor, please raise your hand. Okay, five more. Mm -mm, this is challenging. This is your diplomatic course. Okay, five more delegates. Okay, three more uh, delegates raising their hand, and then this motion will pass. Three more delegate. Um, oh, okay, one more. One more. Okay, this feels like something we sell on Shopee or something. Three more, five more. Okay, 44 participants. Wow, thank you. With 44 participants has been raising their hand, this motion automatically passed, and then this issue will be discussed uh, by 20 delegates. First of all, to the delegate of Brunei, we would like to ask you first. Okay, everyone, please lower your hand. To the delegate of Brunei, uh, would, you, would you wish to speak first or last? Uh, I would like to speak first. Thank you. Delegate of Brunei will be speaking first. So yeah, delegate, is a, as a reminder, if you are the one who proposed a motion and it get passed or it is agreed by every delegate, it means we would like to ask you if you would like to speak first or last. That's all. Okay, now we will invite 19 more speakers to speak upon this motion. So for those of you who wish to speak upon this motion, please raise your hand now. Okay. If not, we will choose it randomly. 
Okay, Morocco. Delegate of Morocco. Okay, delegate of Nepal, again. Delegate of China. Kingdom of Spain, or Spain. Just Spain, to make it easier. Norway. Okay, for those of you who already been added, please lower your hand. Uh, Morocco, China, and other. Okay, if you have been added, please lower your hand. Okay, Kenya. Kenya, Tunisia, uh, Vietnam. Okay, I like this energy delegates. Keep coming, keep coming. Uh, Germany, uh, Thailand, okay, Indonesia, <laughs> okay, Vanuatu, okay, Nigeria. Okay, how many delegates that already been in the list? Uh, reporter, how many of it? 13. 13, okay. We still need uh, seven more. Okay, uh, delegate of New Zealand. Okay, then public of Argentine. And then Yemen, delegate of Yemen. Uh, delegate of Uzbekistan. Delegate of Angola. Delegate of Korea. Okay, how many is left? How many is left? More. One more, okay. And one more we would like to entertain uh, delegate of Bangladesh. That is all for now. Uh, now we will invite the first speaker, which is delegate of Brunei, to have uh, the floor. To delegate of Brunei, you may have the floor. Yeah. Uh, okay, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, the reason I choose this topic is because we never know which more effective which uh, about lockdown or social distancing. Uh, for me, lockdown is pretty effective because for for rich, for rich countries, we do lockdown because it's more effective to prevent more cases on COVID-19. For some countries, uh, they prefer to do social distancing because it's it's dangerous for the economic if they choose to do lockdown. So the reason I choose this topic is because of that. Uh, that's all that I can say. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, next to speak is the delegate of, sorry, I could not see it. Who is the one? Next one to speak. The second one would be Morocco. Okay, delegate of Morocco. To the delegate of Morocco, you may have the floor. Okay, uh, marhaban Bil Jami, Anaman Dupa Malakat Al Maghribia. Uh, the reason why I'm actually choosing this this topic is because uh, like this like the Brunei talking about uh, what's the effectiveness between a lockdown and a social distancing. Uh, so between the countries actually have choosing lockdown and one is social distancing, but uh, everyone is actually trying to talking about the debate is between the lockdown and social distancing. One saying it's you should use the social distancing so economy it didn't get crumbled, and the other one using lockdown so the people didn't didn't get killed by the COVID nineteen. So the reason why I'm actually choosing this topic because of that. Thank you. Thank you, delegate of Morocco. Uh, next to speak is the delegate of Nepal. To the delegate of Nepal, you may have the floor. Uh, thank you, Chair. First of all, uh, delegate of Nepal uh, agree with opinion of uh, Brunei, delegate of Brunei. Lockdown is more effective uh, to put a uh, cause of COVID-19. But it doesn't mean that social distancing doesn't affect it. Effective. Uh, there's a lot of people who have to go out for work. They have to do social distancing. But uh, we're so sorry to say this, but most of people, in, they don't care about social distancing. They know social distancing, but they don't want to do social distancing. That's so sad. Uh, I think that's enough for me, Chair. Thank you, Delegate of Nepal. Next to speak is the delegate of China. To the delegate of China, you may have the floor. Um, hello, everyone. So, 
um, China think the two mechanism in handling the COVID-19 cases that the Brunei government is implementing are not yet effective enough. Therefore, China recommends to do a vaccine uh, be carried out for all its citizens so that efforts to prevent COVID-19 are more effective. And just so you know that China has many types of vaccines, so it can be helped for you all. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate of China. Uh, next to speak is the Delegate of, wait a minute, Delegate of Spain. To the Delegate of Spain, you may have the floor. Okay, thank you, Chair. Uh, the, re the reason why Spain is choose this motion because after the implementation of this program, a uh, case of COVID-19 in, in, in Spain can finally be reduced. We hope this program was carried out all by nation government to su suppress the spread of COVID-19 virus, social restriction and quarantine made Spanish citizen more protected from the virus because it reduced physical touch. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate of Spain. Next to speak is the Delegate of Norway. To Delegate of Norway, you may have the floor. Thank you. Since the first case of COVID-19 was announced on February 2020, the, Nor the Norwegian government has a policy for the COVID outbreak. The policy carried out the Norwegian government to get through the pandemic is to temporarily close all the sector that could be spread all the coronavirus in Norway. Besides that, the government of Norway has also closed borders to, redu to reduce the injury level of tourists or workers who are not citizens of Norway, it's except for the SHGL business. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Delegate of Norway. Next to speak is the Delegate of Kenya. The Delegate of Kenya, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chair. Uh, in my country, lockdown and social distancing are unexpected a way to cut the flood of COVID-19. But if we do a long-term lockdown, it will have negative impact. In a period flood on uh, one of which is the economy. I am the opinion that lockdown is not a good way if it uh, is carried out con continue. It is way better to reduce lockdown activities, but still complete with social distancing. Thank you, Chair. Okay, thank you. Delegate of Kenya, next to speak is Delegate of Tunisia. To the Delegate of Tunisia, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chair. I agree with Bruni. The leading mix of COVID-19 lockdown are over, and life has uh, returned to the street. Uh, there is a tangible sense of the real life over the end of the health crisis. Uh, social distancing, hygiene, and the quarantine rules are still in a place. But now there's a rest uh, restriction on the movement and the work have been relaxed. Uh, things are slowly getting back to normal. Uh, cafe, restaurant, and the mosque have uh, reopened. Travel within uh, in the country alone and the business are resuming, uh, 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 resuming uh, operations. Uh, the carpet has been built to. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next to speak is the delegate of Vietnam. To the delegate of Vietnam, you may have the floor. Um, thank you, Chair. So we agree of the topic that Brunei gave. During lockdown is very important because that we can be able to go outside if you don't have any emergency or like em important emergency to go outside. We don't have to go outside and just stay at home. Uh, because um, if you are going places with a crowded people, it's very dangerous. So doing a social distancing is very important because it would help us to prevent the virus. As we all know, that the virus could be spread around people that are standing very close to each other and uh, by sneezing and coughing. So yeah, that's it. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Delegate of Vietnam. Next to speak is the Delegate of Germany. New Delegate of Germany. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the reason of Germany choose this topic is because Germany is one of the country who, uh, who, who success to uh, combat COVID-19. Uh, in the area of COVID-19 spread to the world, uh, the government uh, do a massive uh, test and uh, and close the uh, uh, and close the public places and did a lockdown. I think it's a good option. Uh, yeah, for German. Thank you. 
Thank you, delegate of Germany. Uh, next to speak is the delegate of. Wait a minute. Next to speak is the delegate of Thailand. To the delegate of Thailand, you may have the floor. Thank you, chairs, and thank you to Rune for the topics. So, as we mentioned before, Thailand is not picking the national lockdown policy for a long time. Instead, relying on provincial control and social distancing because lockdown is a good to control the case of coronavirus, but it's not good for the society and the economy will be going to minus. For the social distancing, it's a good policy because we can keep our circle economy to be controlled. With the notes, our societies will realize and know how the impact of COVID-19 to their self. Thank you, Hopun Ma. Thank you, Delegate of Thailand. Next to speak is the Delegate of Indonesia. The delegate of Indonesia, oh, you may have the floor. Thank you, sir. Uh, we think if uh, lockdown is carried out, the distribution of goods and services will be greatly disrupted, right? This is very bad for our economy and there will also be a psychological impact. Where many people are panic buying, when it was first announced that there was a corona cases in Indonesia, it was panic buying, especially if it was declared lockdown. So we think the social distancing policy is quite appropriate for the current condition. But if it's necessary to make a lockdown decision, of course, this is must be based on accurate data and decide by uh, the central government. So all of this is returned Return to the government ass assessment in saying the corona cases nationally. Thank you. Thank you, delegate of Indonesia. Next to speak is delegate of Vanuatu. To the delegate of Vanuatu, you may have the floor. Okay, thank you, Niti. Uh, the reason uh, why we agreed with this mostly because uh, Vanuatu Vanuatu is one of the free uh, country uh, without COVID. Uh, this is small advice for all countries providing health services or health advice to the countries in the world to stop entry, entry of foreign nationals into their respective countries to minimize the spread of the COVID virus. Like what our country did, we quarantined uh, the Vanuatu people who had traveled from Australia just before we closed all the boundaries of entering and leaving Vanuatu. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate of Vanuatu. Next to speak is the Delegate of Nigeria. To the Delegate of Nigeria, you may have the floor. Okay. The handling of the COVID-19 pandemic in Nigeria and other countries faces real challenges. Yes, lockdown and social distancing is one of the solutions for this pandemic. However, people also have to improve hygiene, scientific understanding, advanced containment methods, become more sophisticated, and certain infectious disease outbreaks will eventually be taken under control. For example, washing hands, using hand sanitizer and disinfectant, throw garbage in its place, wearing a mask, and etc. By, maintain by maintaining cleanliness, people take part in overcoming the spread of disease in the country. The more people who maintain cleanliness, the sooner the pandemic will end for this world. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you, Delegate. Uh, next to speak is the Delegate of uh, New Zealand. To the Delegate of New Zealand, you may have the floor. Okay, uh, kia ora. Thank you, Honorable Chair and fellow delegates. Okay, so because of the good health framework and cooperative citizens, New Zealand's are one of the top three countries that have succeeded in controlling the spread of COVID-19. New Zealand has locked down policy for COVID-19 has several methods. Uh, there are four alerts, uh, there are four alerts level included into our essential services, such as health services, emergency services, and then utilities and good transport that we maintain to keep uh, running as a response to an emergency to situation. Um, the COVID-19 alert uh, system was introduced in March to, uh, 2020 to manage and minimize the risk of COVID-19 spread in New Zealand. But there is some downside from this policy because uh, lockdown policy is effective for every country that has decent economy. But to others country, it's brought a domino effect not only on economic sector, but on every sector of life. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate of New Zealand. Next to speak is Delegate of Argentina. Argentina. Uh, to Delegate of Argentina, you may have the floor. Uh, okay, thank you, Chair. And we do agree with Rune. So sorry, can you hear my voice? Yes, we can. Yeah, hear. Okay. 
Okay, uh, we do it. Uh, Brunei Darussalam because the road called Argentina is quarantine now because we do the quarantine, uh, the longest quarantine in the world. It's about five months and it's very effective to reduce the corona cases. But after the long quarantine, we have a high inflation deficit and reducing the economy. It's very, very inflation, very deficit for our country. Uh, so for our perspective, for uh, because we we have we have felt that way, we prefer to choose the social distancing. Maybe the quarantine is good for health side, but not for the politic and economic and many other side of the life of the country. Thank you. Thank you, delegate of Argentine. Next to speak is the delegate of Yemen. To the delegate of Yemen, you may have the floor. Hello, everyone. Here, thank you. Opportunity. Uh, okay. As we know, in Yemen is very, very chaos, uh, and then there, there is so many conflict in Yemen. There is still war. The war was humanitarian crisis, and then the yes. So Yemen is. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yemen is very. Uh, it's very have high risk for Yemen. There is nothing hygiene practice and a culture of gathering in groups such as mosque of containment measures such as social distancing. And then, so I think social distancing. So I think social distancing is not effective in Yemen. We need a vaccine. And yeah, that's all for me. Thank you. Thank you, delegate of Yemen. Your time has elapsed. Next to speak is the delegate of Uzbekistan. To the delegate of Uzbekistan, you may have the floor. Delegate of Uzbekistan, you may unmute. Yes. Yeah. Hi. Thank you, Chair. Uh, good morning, all delegates. Uh, the motion that Brunei proposed is very, very cool, actually, because in our country, uh, we actually use social distancing practice. I know it's kind of like a yes no situation, but in our country, besides the uh, face mask monitor, we also use the rest. Uh, we restricted every international entry except the uh, from the green area like Korea uh, and Hungary uh, because we think that it is very important since it's the common uh, infectious chain in many countries. And we also want to point out something. Uh, actually, social distancing would be very uh, a vaccine if the states of the country has a very strong regulation and obedient citizen and whatever the practice that a country choose and use, all of that would be extended if there's a commitment in between the government and the citizen. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate of Uzbekistan. Next to speak is the Delegate of Angola. To the Delegate of Angola, you may have the floor. Yes, thank you, sir. Uh, I'm agree with Brunei. So, to curb the further spread of disease, country has ha, country have generally opted for social distancing or a lockdown. Or but social distancing aims to break the transmission of the pandemic by restricting or closing all public places like cafes and malls. Lockdowns are more strategy strategy and challenging the complex stoppage of any sort of public movement except essential service, some con countries combine self-quarantine, isolation, or covid and among other measures. That's all for our debate. Thank you. Thank you, the uh, Republic of Angola. Next to speak is the delegate of Korea. To the delegate of Korea, you may have the floor. Thank you, Honorable Chair. This topic is very attractive to discuss, but in our opinion, lockdown is, can slow down the transmission of COVID-19 by limiting contact between, between people, but not yet effective and must be considered. However, uh, the measure can have profound negative impact on the individual communities and society by stopping social and economic life. Uh, such measures uh, disproportionately uh, affect uh, disadvantaged group, including people in poverty, migrants internally, and uh, displaced persons and refugees who uh, most often live uh, in an 
uh, overcrowded and under-resourced environments and depend on daily labor of our uh, life necessities. But social distancing is uh, important to reducing uh, the spread of COVID-19. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, uh, Delegate of Korea. Hey, sorry. Wait a minute. Um, next to speak is the Delegate of Bangladesh, which is the last speaker. To the Delegate of Bangladesh, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chair, for the opportunity. We think that lockdown is more effective than social distancing because lockdown gives the best result to press COVID-19 virus spread around than social distancing because it still found that people do not behave with the distance. Thank you. Okay, thank you. With this motion uh, already elapsed, now the chair would like to, under our under the chair discussion, we will suspend the debate and having a break for one hour. Yes. Yep. Have a great. Uh, first of all, uh, delegates, uh, congratulations on passing the first committee session. Wow, such a brave and a lot of you are trying your best. It is great. Oh yeah, I hear uh, there are a gossip box. Have you filled it, delegate? Uh, we're gonna send it right away for a second. Yeah, delegate. So in uh, modern Malayalam nation, there is something we call the gossip box. So you can write anything to anyone without your identity being, you know, uh, being known. So yes, you can write to anyone uh, regarding any type of uh, gossip <laughs> that is how we can you know having fun as well in the simulation yep you can write like you like someone uh, or you want to confess something to anyone to secretary general who knows want to write secretary general looks dope for today or something anything you can add anything you can write anything as well yep um, I guess that's for me from Chair Andy. Do you have something? Uh, just a little bit. Yeah, I think uh, I know Model United now. Uh, SDC can be extremely tiring, and this is still the first comedy session. So I do really hope that we like your spirit in the first comedy session. So please do maintain it in the second comedy session. Because you know we're gonna do this up until uh, three thirty, I guess. So yeah, just keep up the spirit, good. Because I think we enjoyed the first conversation of this SPC. So good work for everyone. Okay, thank you, everyone. Uh, I guess uh, you may have your break and get back to the schedule that have already been given to you. And yes, don't forget to you know. Uh, fill the gossip box we will read it as the child we will read it uh, some of the gossip from all of you uh, so yeah <laughs> enjoy your uh, your rest for one hour and yeah thank you thank you the chair so i want to remind all of the delegates to stay in the zoom as long as you are in lunch break or prayer break and then don't out from the Zoom because we are super, uh, you know, having a hectic problem to accept you by one, one again, one again. So stay in the Zoom for like probably an hour. Just uh, turn on, turn off your camera and do what exactly what you want to do. So that's why we don't forget to fill your uh, gossip box. It's kind of actually good. So the chair will be read and also probably me is going to read your gossip box. So, and we are not. Uh, want you to fill who is your name or whatever it is just to fill like this example oh my god the legate of china today is so beautiful but so intimidating like that a couple cute words like that to motivate all of you so thank you very much see you actually